All right, so let's talk about CPR pauses. So if you look at this graph, imagine a patient in cardiac arrest, and on the y-axis you have perfusion, either perfusion to the coronaries or perfusion to the brain. And across the bottom you have time. So in an ideal setting, when a patient's getting appropriate good CPR, what you see is that the perfusion pressure is actually very good. The reason we emphasize so much about minimizing pauses is that when you do a pause to do a pulse check, you get a sudden drop off in that perfusion pressure. What people don't realize, I think, is that when you reinitiate CPR, it's not like you just magically go back up to the perfusion pressure you were at. There's a ramp up period. And so those pauses can actually be a longer time with decreased perfusion, which is going to worsen patient outcomes potentially. So this is why you hear people emphasizing the fact that you really want to minimize pauses when you're doing CPR and you want to really stay on the chest at a good rate with good compression and good recoil.